And we're going to be picking some of that directly. Thought I'd give you a little garden update. And that stuff's really done good. Set on two ears. Worms is in some of it. Still good. Second batch. Leaves are curling. It's freaking hot. And dry. Been having to water the heck out of things. Oh, the last good rain we had. Can't even remember. I've already picked beans three times. Looks like it's getting time to pick again. Still blooming. Peppers are up to my waist. I didn't think things were ever going to set a dang pepper on. They finally did. Not too many. This this plant don't have. Oh, I guess it's got one little one. Look at down in there hiding. Uh huh. Early girls. They come out of the top of the cages and now they're. They're just going every dang direction. Those probably eat. Let me pick them. I don't know. I got to pick some tonight. Gonna have some bacon to make in. Fresh corn on the cob. Okra. Doing pretty good. These are my uh, mortgage lifters. I can reach eight foot. Of course, they're a foot and a half off the ground, these tubs, but they're still a, they're monsters. These nice tomatoes. I might pick these. Dog don't know I'm out here. I think them dudes ready to eat. I ate them tonight. Don't know. I got to show you this one cluster over here. Now there's one. It's this one right here. <clears throat> now let me get around here and see it. I got sticks holding these up. There's 11 tomatoes on that one vine. Unfreaking real. They just come on there like crazy. And then I ain't got anything right forever. Nothing very big at all. They're doing pretty good. They're all big guys. He's pretty good and bigger than softball. Mortgage lifters. Never grew them before. Blooms out the wazooly. I don't know what's going to happen when all these get full of tomatoes. But Anyway, a little short update. Not much left out here. Basil. Wife likes that crap. Uh-oh. What are you doing there, you watchdog? What a hoss, huh? We're gonna go in here and put something on here that you guys wanna see. I know you don't wanna see garden all the time. Kinda boring if you don't garden. Getting ready for a show. I got these out the other day. This is kind of the ones I've been keeping over the years. I don't know why. You keep some, you keep. I just don't know. I just thought I'd show a few of them. There's that Dalton I made the other day. I kind of liked it. Of course, I like Daltons. You see, I make a lot of Daltons. There's a pretty good example of a Harden. That's a local rock. Pretty good stuff. Scotch Bluff. It, uh, of course the light's not the best in here. It could be better. That's a local rock, local Burlington. Actually, I picked that up out of a ditch. I do that when it, when it rains a lot. It's kind of a sweet little Dalton. It's got a coral. Really fine serrations, nice little thin piece. Pretty little devil. I make a few bigger pieces once in a while. This one's a little right quarter. Pretty good sticker. Got 
got that neat little sound to it. Pretty good blade. Don't make many big blades. This one ain't nothing fancy, it's just the rocks of K County out of Oklahoma. A friend of mine gave me. Kind of cool rock. There's another K County. Kind of pretty. Some of it's really got some nice colors in it. A lot of little crinoids and fossils. Piece of Novaculite, Adena. That's really good rock to work, especially for new nappers. See those little white spots? Throw some wax on that if you want to get rid of all of them. Here's a nice little Dixon. Ken was talking about Dixons. I used to make a lot of Dixons. That's out of some heat treated Burlington. Pretty little point. I don't make a lot of big stuff, like I said. I make a lot of smaller points. Don't know why I just do. Little Clovis. Got a good flute on that side. I hand fluted this one. I don't have a jig. I need to make one. But that one didn't do nothing. It just kind of went up there and poof, bobbled out. One of my favorite Daltons. I call this Neapolitan. Huh. Interesting. That's local rock. Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Pretty. This is probably one of my top favorites. I don't know if I'd ever get rid of that one. That's just so cool to have that little bullseye on that edge. And look at that. Looks like, looks like stitches. Really odd. When I seen that in the rock, I thought, man, I have got to save that, so I did. That's a cool little Dalton. Uh, didn't show you this. I made this another night. Oh, sell him peel. Turned out pretty nice. I managed to save just that little bitty black or brown on the tip. I kept trying to save it and save it, and it just never was getting thin. It turned out pretty decent. Not too shabby. The rest of these are just, oh, just out of local Burlington, whatever's. Some of them's pretty cool. Another local rock, Burlington. Some pretty good flake pattern on it. I was working on trying to learn how to do Sloan pattern one day, and I got to playing with this. Boy, it's hard to make them things. Little dove. Doves can be so aggravating. They look so simple. Getting that notch is right is hard. And then I make a lot of excuse me. I make a lot of hunting points because the guys up there like to they like to buy hunting points. So I'll make a few and bring it there. I got I'm gonna make several more here. Maybe tonight or tomorrow night. Yeah. I've made a couple here in the last few days. I see that, and I made that in the other night. Some of these I've had. I try to match them up weight-wise, size-wise. Here's a little point I made a long time ago, and I don't know, I've always kept it. I was attempting to make a necklace out of it, never did. Gorgeous piece of rock. Just never part with it. Keep it. I used to make a lot of these, people. Wire wraps. Nothing fancy. Anyway, that's about all I got to show you. I've been digging through my piles, finding little stuff to take. I like to sit and make little arrowheads. People get a kick out of it. Looks like Knife River, but it ain't. That's Texas root beer. Can't get much of that. This is just heated Burlington. It's pretty. This makes some of the best air points I ever made right here. This stuff's gorgeous. Flake's good. Easy work. Anyway, I'm getting ready. Be up there Friday, one day is all I'm going. I will take the camera and try to get a little video of the place. A lot of people have never been there, probably heard of it, Mojam. It's in Marshall, Missouri, annual pilgrimage I go to. So I get some more chipping done here for long. I'll start putting some more up. But Until then, thanks for whopping, whop, whopping. Thanks for watching. Adios.